All right, it's time for some more Monkey Island. <laughs> so there was some stuff I was thinking about uh, doing when I ended yesterday. Sorry for not going to the title screen. This game kind of just tried to jump into a uh, new game, so <laughs> it's loaded quickly. But yeah, after I finished yesterday, I had a sudden thought of something to do, and it's been bugging me all of yesterday. <laughs> Pretty funny. Um, I don't know why I didn't think of this before. Yeah, if we go to the cabana, I put something in the deep fryer. I wonder if I have to get rid of him first. Wait, what happened to the uh, paperweight? Did I get rid of that? Hmm. That seems like a waste of a perfectly good biscuit. That would hurt. That'd be something I can put in there. And this biscuit cutter won't do. Hmm. Maybe I was wrong. I was gonna try putting the uh, magic wand has no effect paperweight on that. in there, but I'm just realizing I don't have it anymore. May I please have some of your oil? That oil is solely for the use of the fry station technician. Hmm. I can't use a balloon with that. I can't use... This serrated knife won't work here. I'd rather go around to the gate than go through that towel business again. <laughs> I'm wondering what else I could use now that I think about it. Nothing else over here, right? Waterfall, that's about it. I don't think there's anything I could do with the waterfall. What am I supposed to be doing with the red dye? Well, oh, actually, wait, I already used it technically. Oh, this hole in the boat we have to repair. I think I already tried this. The magic wand has the magic wand has no effect on that. It's got a huge hole in the bottom. I'd sink. It's the bay. Still need something crunchy for that one pirate. Maybe something I could put in there. That doesn't take wooden nickels. I can't use the skill. I just don't think I have what I need for that. That doesn't need gum. That is only for the chef. Oh, cabana boy. Yes. It's quite hot. Put your towel and mop my <laughs> brow, would you? Can I have another look at that card of yours? Uh, actually, the towels are right here. I'll just help myself. Can I pick up more of them? Not that I need them. Nice fluffy towel. I'll just take one more. <laughs> that doesn't need drying. I wonder, is anything like changed over here or something? Mm, probably not. They're still warm. Tastes like sand. That's my first clue. <laughs> this pipe pan won't do any good there. Hmm. 
feel like I'm missing an item. I was so sure about putting the uh, paperweight in there. I don't know what happened to my paperweight. Oh right, I used it in the swamp. That's what happened to it. Oops. Something I could do with this. It's a chicken coop, but I don't see. Mm. Mm, no. I can't use the skeleton arm with that. It's as thick as gravy. I won't be able to find anything in this mud by fishing around with my hand. Uh, excuse me. Hmm. What do you miss most about your chicken? The crunch! It's the crunch I be missing most! I'll let you get back to work. Aye. So what can I get him that's crunchy? This serrated knife won't work here. Hmm. I take another one. I don't want any maggot filled biscuits. Why not? <laughs> it's the Mater D podium. It looks too heavy to carry around. Wait, have I tried uh, using this on him? So we find a use for this thing. Stop fooling, kindly old cap and blonde beard now. Waiter, what's this metatarsal doing in my soup? I think I already did that one. Oh, is this what it's for? I don't know, this is the same as using it on him. Stop fooling, kindly old cap and blonde beard now. I don't want to throw my voice there. Hmm. The only thing even remotely food related that I could think of is, uh... This guy's jawbreaker, but I have nothing to give him. Vegetarian. I don't think he'd like. That. I don't think he'd like. That. Mm. What do you want me to do with that? I told you to come back when you found gold. It's golden brown. Probably delicious. Keep trying. Hmm. I've got nothing to say. I've got nothing to say. <laughs> I don't want that. I'm a vegetarian. That doesn't need chewed gum. So I don't know what this biscuit cutter is for. I don't think he'd like that. Nothing else to do over here, right? It 
It's the remnant of a once mighty rubber tree. Mm, no. Nah. I still don't know about this thing. Like, what is the point of coming up here? Hmm. I'll need to read the instructions before they'll work. Following which... Next, we'll... Excuse me. Acting is my life! Let me join your show. Good heavens, no! Carry on. What fool then shall liberate the villain with this advice I give us to gain the proper? <laughs> I want to hang on to this flyer. There might be a discount. Next, we'll... It's Yorick's headstone from Hamlet. Hmm. I don't want to throw my voice there. That was funny once. Hmm. Oh, Julie... I don't want to throw my voice there. Then, in act... Hmm. <laughs> haven't made any progress yet today. <laughs> in memory of the chickens who gave their lives during the Great Puerto Pollo Potluck Jamboree of 1621. Throw my voice there. Eh, forget it. Wrong <laughs> That doesn't need gum. I feel like I'm right about this deep fryer. I just don't know what to put in there. I wonder if I have to get rid of him somehow. I just don't know how. I don't want him looking at this card too closely. Oh, Cabana Boy, tell me more about my membership benefits. The Brimstone Beach Country Club in Smorgie is the exclusive resort hideaway for only the most discerning pirates and their families. Here you'll be pampered by a courteous staff, oh, always eager to meet your every need. Whether it be recommending a keel hauling class, finding a fourth for bridge, or giving a golf lesson on our award-winning course designed by Pegleg Malloy. Free valet ship parking included. Mm -hmm. I don't want to throw my voice there. That was funny once. I don't want to throw my voice there. I don't want to throw my voice there. Hmm. I don't want to cut that. I don't know what to do with this map. <laughs> I don't remember now. I, get, I do remember peeling something off his back. 
That's barbaric. I have no idea what I would use for that. I can't paste that. I can't paste that. I want to hang on to this. That doesn't need chewed gum. Mm. The magic wand has no effect on that. Can I talk to him still? They were nothing useful to say. I think he's fallen asleep. <laughs> More red dye on him. I don't want to ruin the map. And this biscuit cutter won't do any good there. Hmm. I could do with Murray. I think he wants to be alone. Get away from me, you sick freak. <laughs> what am I missing here? bothering me that I don't know. Doesn't need dying. Care about that? <laughs> Could I have your jawbreaker? No. It's been a pleasure. Bye. Be some way to get that jawbreaker off him. I wonder if these other two are in there. Whoa, look at the time. Got a scoot. Never mind. Me. I just can't think of anything else to do. Okay, I either need the job breaker, need something to deep fry. Just, I feel like I've hit a dead end. I just don't know what else I can do. I wonder if it has anything to do with this because I don't understand where you get the instructions for this. Hmm. I'll need to read the instructions before they'll work. So why is there a sideways arrow? Like sideways and down. It doesn't make any sense. No instructions around. I wonder if there's a part in this play for a dashing rogue pirate. Hi. I don't want to throw my voice there. Then in act. I think there's still more with these two, and I just don't know what. I'm gonna try talking to him in a while. I think I'll let him study his lines. I don't need a plank to walk. I guess they changed the end of Romeo and Juliet. <laughs> No. 
then in act. I can't use a balloon with that. And then. It's not a rubber glove. Oh, Romeo, yada, 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 yada. Really curious what I'm missing. Am I gonna have to look up like a hint? I don't think this game has like a in game hint system. I just don't know which one I'd look up. Like, nothing makes a day on the beach like a generous helping of greasy, deep fried food. That would hurt. I guess I can look up a hint. I'll try and use the UHS thing. I think there should be one for this one. Let's see. Uh, UHS. Okay. So I guess... Oh jeez, some of these... Hmm. I guess how do I get a crew? Oh, why is this... They're in such a weird way. A throat bill. So I do need to get the job breaker, but how do I start this? Okay, I, I'm just gonna take that hint. It just says you need to get him to spit out his job breaker. The question is, how do we get that to happen? Oh, but then again, I just realized I don't know, know if I even have what I need for that. How can I get him to spit something out? Hmm. Could I have your jawbreaker? No. You really enjoy being a barber? It's a steady income. Are you sure you don't want to join my crew? Come back when you have some real treasure to show me. It's been a pleasure. Bye. So what would make him spit out his outbreaker? Sure, if I have everything for that or not. I don't want to throw my voice there. I don't want to throw my voice there. Yeah, I've already tried it with them, right? I've got nothing to say. I've got nothing to say. I don't think he'd like that. There's nothing to interact with near him, right? Besides the combs. He'd like I want to hang on to this flyer. I don't think he'd like that. Yeah, I don't know if I have what I need for My this. My pirate instincts. Now that I think about it. I don't think he'd like that. What do you want me to do with that? I told you to come back when you found gold. It's golden brown. Probably delicious. Mm -hmm. Keep trying. I don't 
think he'd like that. You know, I really appreciate you taking the time to talk to me. I think we've, well, we've bonded. Wait, what did I just... Go ahead. Okay, I guess that works. Oh no, we killed him. How did you do that? Oh, it was nothing really. Just sudden pressure applied below the stern <laughs> to expel a foreign object from the windpipe. That's amazing. I owe you my life. From now on. Yes? From now on, that will be known as the Threepwood Maneuver. <laughs> nah. I think that'd be enough to get him to join my crew, but apparently not. Okay, now we can start. Oh my god, that's gross looking. Would you like this jawbreaker? Thanks to you. Ouch! I think I loosed me gold tooth. Arr, I knew sweets were being bad for me teeth, but it had a fine crunch and were a fiesta of flavor. From now on, I'll be sticking to fleshier foodstuffs. Something, something chewy. Well, there I go again. This old salt's got a craving for something to squish between me. <laughs> Would you like some gum? <laughs> Thanks. Hmm. This is really good steak-flavored gum. It gets you here. And it gets you right here. Oh, but... I remember this, but I'm hoping I can do with these. I'm afraid I might slip and cut him. Uh. I'm afraid I might slip and cut him. I don't want gum all over my hands. Oh, what do I pop it with, though? I'm trying to remember this. I can't use the reed with that. The magic wand has no effect on that. I think I need some sort of pin, but like... Where would I get something like that? Hmm... I tried picking up this button before, right? It says, ask me about Grim Fandango. I don't want people always asking me about Grim Fandango. Nah. Hmm. Uh, excuse me. Did I mention how much I admire your gold tooth? I you did. Now stop admiring it so much. Where can I get something I'll to let you pop get back to that? Aye. I think I could just use the knife, but... I'm afraid I might slip and cut him. This biscuit cutter won't do any good there. <laughs> I don't need a membership card for that. Yeah, I guess I can't do that yet, then. I guess it didn't get me any further in. Like, technically, it helped me in that puzzle, but... I guess now I need something else. So where can I get a pin from? Something in here? There's voodoo dolls here. Oh, wait, there's a random pin here the entire time that I haven't picked up? What a relief. <laughs> I don't need it. They tried to pick up. It's the, just a toy. I remember that. I tried to pick up the voodoo doll before. I guess I just didn't see that. 
was thinking to myself, I'm like, where can you get a pin? And I was thinking about, like, uh, second game. I was like, oh, Voodoo Suddenly had an inspiration. What? Oh, is he done with the gum now? More gum? Yeah, it looks like you swallowed the last piece I gave you. <laughs> Thanks! Hmm! And I remember this. If you have it on harder, like on easy, you can just grab this and walk out. Why, you little scamp. <laughs> That's quite a funny trick you've played on old Cap and Blonde Beard. But with this hard mode, we have to do something more clever. I don't remember how you like activate this. The gum is too hard. No. Oh. The gold tooth is in the gum. Hmm. I don't think that would help. Huh, I can't remember how to do this all of a sudden. Do I have to... No, I can't use a balloon with that. I don't want to pin that. Hmm. Oh wait, maybe at the... I just thought of it now. I was on the right track. So silly. Buy a gold tooth. Cool. Wait one second. Do you have me gold tooth? Uh, no. Let me see. <laughs> it actually, I'm sorry. It. Darn. I'll have to order a new one. I wonder where that tooth fell. Wait. It's the gold tooth. Hey, now we have treasure, technically. <laughs> so we got a crew. Still need the map and the boat. We're not very close to either one of those. Check this out. Is that real gold? I guess you can find treasure. So, you'll join my crew? Sure, as long as my partners will join too. Well, I got my whole crew. Nice. Let's save it. I want to get into the habit of that still. I didn't save it too many times the other day. Chicken! <laughs> Look at all this stuff, mate! Oh, that must have been some battle. Let's pull up anchor and make for Skull Island. King Andre will pay through the nose oh, I just for all realized... this loot. Wait a Capture minute. isn't perfect There's right something now. Else. It's, uh... Is it like that the entire some time? Some kind of footwear. <laughs> hey! Those are nice! Uh, Woo! So I'll fix it in a moment. They're still hot! Ow, 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 ow! Yeah, I just realized the capture isn't fully capturing everything. Hold on. Uh. In capture. I like that yesterday though. I I swear I shrunk this down to make it fit. The other day. Okay, what's the best way to do this? Charge it back up. Move it over a little bit. There, that should be good. It's weird. Now you guys get the full view. Hmm. 
So does this stuff help me in any way? The rest of the stuff I'm trying to do? I don't think so, right? <laughs> like, not gonna help me. I didn't even know that what doesn't this... need a gold tooth. Wait, is the deep fryer for his back then? I know you need to do something with this. I just don't know what. Actually, now that I think about it, the cooking oil on his back, could probably be. May I please have some of your oil? That oil is solely for the use of the fry station technician. Well, how can I get that off him? I don't want to throw my voice there. Uh. Oh, Cabana Boy. Will you bury me in the sand? I'll start digging your grave right now. Oh, Cabana Boy. I wonder if this is to keep May I you. help you? Nothing. I just wanted to be sure that you're there for me. Oh! Oh, Cabana Boy. May I help you? Nothing. I just wanted to be mm. sure that you're there for me. Oh! Mm, no. It's a rather spitty gold tooth. I don't think he'd like that. I don't want to carry that around. <laughs> could do this again. Not sure why, because we're not going over that way. The towels are all wet now. Papa Pichu! <laughs> really? That would hurt. Yeah, no. It looks like some of those are older than I am. So can I actually deep fry something? That seems like a waste of a perfectly good biscuit. There's already way too much oil in the fryer. Nothing makes a day on the beach like a generous helping of greasy deep fried food. That would hurt. Hmm. Deep fry the tooth. That doesn't need a gold tooth. I guess there's not much I can do with that right now. I remember this being kind of gross. <laughs> Literally just burnt his back into nothingness. Peel this off. Gross as hell. I really wish I didn't have to do that. <laughs> it's the map to Blood Island. Peeled off Palado's back. So now we just need the boat. Nice boots, huh? Sorry. Hey, what do you know? I really am big bone. Uh-oh. Quiet! Here comes Captain LeChuck! Where's LeChuck is back now? This town is on fire! Day, you lovers! Set sail for my stronghold on Monkey Island! I'll unleash my entire army of the undead! This time, Elaine will be mine! Ah, Elaine! It will be a sweet day in hell when you feel the fiery breath of my gifts on your lips and become my undead bride. And I'll destroy any man who dares get in my way. Suffering sailors, it is good to be dead. <laughs> All right. So how can I repair this little boat over here? Theoretically, I should have all the items I need, or at least I'm one item away, like... Hey, 
Hey, hey now, how's huge it going? Hole in the bottom. I'd sink. How can I repair this boat? Hmm. Wet towels are gonna help, right? A uh, damp towel would be of no use here. A <laughs> uh, damp towel would be of no use. Hmm. This is only for reading. This is only for reading. I'd get a nasty splinter. I can't paste that. The encyclopedia won't help with that. It's the bay. Nah. <laughs> I'll be cut to ribbons by those sharks if I go in there. a nice boat, except for that enormous gaping hole in the bottom. What did I fill that hole with? I don't want to throw my voice there. I don't want to throw my voice there. Maybe I don't have what I need for this. I can't use a balloon with that. I can't use a balloon. I'm just not sure where the hell I would get anything to fix the boat. I'm trying to think of things I haven't like dealt with over here, and the only thing I can think of is this place right here. I'll need to read the instructions before they'll work. What instructions? In the next scene, I... That's a long snore. Excuse me. <laughs> Watch you rehearse. I'd rather you didn't. Then you'll hear all the answers to my knock knock jokes. Please, can I join your show? Good heavens, no. Carry on. Mm hmm. Oh. My pirate instincts tell me I should keep this. My pirate instincts tell me I should keep this to myself. I don't think he'd like that. Mm. I don't think he'd like that. Yeah, I have no idea how you're supposed to get instructions in that top area or, or why you would even need them, to be honest. And then Wait, do I need this plank? Is that what's happening here? I don't need a plank to walk. No, I guess. Hmm. Wherefore would I put it? It's Juliet's balcony. Hmm. Not much time to do with their house to fight against themselves all over the stone country. The only thing I have to cut would be this. Mm, but like, no. This serrated knife won't work here. Or scissors, of course. I don't want to cut that. I don't want to cut that. Hmm. I think I'll let him study his lines. I don't think he's interested. Oh, Romeo, yada, 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 yada. I don't think he'd like that. No, thank you, sir. Chewing gum affects my diction. Not much time to do with their house to fight against themselves all over the stupid country. Oh, Romeo, yada, 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 I don't know why we can pick up this flyer. Feeling down because your chicks turned to gold? Hmm. Please stop snoring. <laughs> In the next feeling down because your chicks turn to gold. He's just gonna snore every time, isn't he? Next we'll and then 
following which did anything with these chickens. I don't know if you need to. My pirate instincts tell me I... I don't think she'd like that. I don't think she'd like that. Don't use this biscuit cutter. Does that go? No, that goes the same place. Let's say I think I think there was two areas there, but it's not the same one. I do anything with the waterfall, as far as I know. It's the right size, but I can't plug the hole with this. That seems like a waste of a perfectly good biscuit. It's the right size, but I can't plug the hole with this. So you're telling me I need to plug the hole with something with this biscuit cutter? That's what it sounds like to me. So what's something that I could cut with that and then plug this with? Wait, wait what happens if I try to use the biscuit cutter in that? Would it say anything like that? It's the right size, but I can't plug the hole with this. I need to find some sort of material that I could cut with that cutter. But would actually be able to... First off, let's try something. I'm trying to think, what, it, what could I cut with that? This biscuit cutter won't do any good there. Yeah, you can't take any more of them. I don't want any maggot-filled biscuits. Hmm. And this biscuit cutter won't do any good there. That, that wood, is, wood is too hard for the biscuit cutter to cut. Hmm. Are you kidding me? I don't know why I didn't think of that before. <laughs> I just had a weird hunch about that. Getting stuck on the weirdest problems in this game. <laughs> I don't know why all of a sudden I thought to use the biscuit in that hole. <laughs> That's what started me down that. Wow, for a homemade rubber plug, that worked very nicely. It won't stay in there. Hmm. You have some paste. The plug is all pasty now. I feel like that wouldn't work, but that's just me. Just regular paste in a boat. I'll never be able to pick that up. We're in. Fifteen men on a dead man's huh? Who are you? Oh no. I'm Guybrush Threepwood and I mean to kill you all. Well, we'll just see how your threats sit with my captain. Your captain? 
Yes, Threepwood. You've come aboard the Sea Cucumber. I am Mr. Fossey, the first mate. And my captain? He's the scourge of the seven seas, the dread pirate. Let's. Yes, Captain. It's on the table, sir. LeChuck. That's right. Captain LeChuck. Yes, Captain. Just an intruder, sir. But I'm dealing with him. <laughs> he says you'd be tortured. Choose your punishment. You can either be tarred and feathered, or you can walk the plank. Feathered sounds good. How about just feathered? No. So, well, I suppose we'll have to go with walking the plank. We're trying to avoid using the tar and feathers. It's messy, and we need to save the tar for emergency leak repair. Oh, what do you Monkeys. say, men? Shall we make him walk the plank? Good Any thing that's where I came from. I will never rest until I find Elaine. All right, in you go. <laughs> That's on. There was no splash. Splash! Hmm. <laughs> <laughs> is there a way to get up there with the oh window? Looks like a light is on in the captain's cabin. That kind of window usually locks from the inside. I'll have to find another way in. Hmm. Plank. It's the plank they made me walk. Why would I want you why would I want to do this? Oh, I guess so that they, you can't make me walk the plank? Can I pick that up? I don't need the plank. Hmm. It's the remnants of the ship's plank. Can't make me walk the plank if there's no plank! Oh. It's a big old sloppy bucket of tar. <laughs> Who's there? Again with the sneaking on board the ship! I don't know how or why you came back on board, but the next time you walk the plank will be your last! What's that, Captain? Vandals? Yes, sir. Tar and feathers. I know it's messy, but it's the only torture we have left. Our illustrious Captain has declared that you shall be tarred and feathered. <laughs> oh, no. That'll learn you. <laughs> so what do I do now? Hmm. I don't know. We've never done this before. Aren't you humiliated? Uh, I guess so, but no more than usual. <laughs> well, and just get lost then. I just realized the whole town's afraid of a giant chicken, right? <laughs> I don't know what this is gonna get me. Uh, I guess we'll go to the town. Content just to release all my chickens and scare all my customers away, were you? Uh, that's right. Well, you're not taking me without a fight. Ooh. Oh, right, he was moving the, the chicken, chicken here. Washed off all the feathers. <laughs> Whoops, I better keep quiet. Absolutely, Captain. I'll get right on it after I have my dinner. What's that, Captain? Why is the I Captain just a gorilla? Chicken. Well, I 
I've just got a weakness for chicken, that's all. I know you don't have any weaknesses, Captain LeChimp. I guess You're an over a giant chimp. A doer. I'm just a tiny little fly. LeChimp? The captain is an ape? <laughs> well, if the captain is an ape, then Mr. Fossey must be... Aye, aye, Captain! Fresh oh, bananas Fossey. for the whole crew! <laughs> just got that and reference. Utter loon. What's that, Captain? Your parasites are bothering you. Well, of course I'll groom you, sir. You know, sir, finding this gold statue may be just the boost our crew needs. What, with the riches we get from this, we can get new and better ships and become the terror of the Caribbean. What am I supposed to do here? You can grease. It's all over everything. I'm not in the mood for fruit. Ah, I hate porcelain. It's a long story. I'll explain later. <laughs> yeah, it's a porcelain pitcher. I find that funny because I happened to notice that there was porcelain in number two and More he didn't seem porcelain? to care. When will this nightmare end? Uh. It's Mr. Fossey, the first mate. Oh, wait a minute. I just realized what I need here. Mr. Fossey, I've been thinking. Are you all right, Captain? You sound different. Don't interrupt. <laughs> Sorry, sir. Maybe it's time we gave up pirating. I mean, take a look around at me and the rest of the crew. We're all monkeys. You mean in the Darwinian sense, sir? <laughs> no, I mean in the quite literal sense. Uh, have you noticed that the crew is happier swinging from the masts than swabbing the decks? I don't even want to mention what they've been flinging around the ship. Are you suggesting that I'm not disciplining the crew enough? No, no, I'm suggesting that we all give up this charade and go back to the trees. That's the life for a monkey, not sailing the seas for months on end. Well, if you feel so strongly about it, sir, I suppose I can't argue. I think our last order of business should be to dig up that statue and... It'll be tough on the men, sir. But I'll tell them that you think it best. Okay, but first we should dig up that statue and give it to... I'll make sure they understand <laughs> that it's not their fault. Very good. And then we can dig up that statue and... Okay, never mind then. That must be the map to where they buried Elaine. Huh. I'm confused though. Where do you start with that? All eyes open, follow the path to the X? Wait, is this the instructions to that- Oh my god, are you kidding me with that? I think Mr. Fossey is the only guy who can talk to him. I don't think so. I don't want another biscuit. Hey, I wonder how soon these will sprout flies. Mmm, <laughs> my favorite, Thunderbread. I can't imagine any need for a loaf of plunder bread. It's a carafe of balsamic vinegar. I think I'll leave that here. Vinegar isn't brewed for drinking. It's some smelly, smelly stuff. I don't want anything that smelly. <laughs> I don't want anything that smelly. Ah, it's a porcelain vase. It's two tickets for the Long John Silver Center for the Performing Arts. I don't go in for all that highbrow, artsy theater stuff. Besides, if I want to enter the theater, I can always use the stage door. It's made from porcelain. Yeah, porcelain. I didn't know corn grew in the tropics. Now the corn is all buttery and greasy. Now that's a lot of cranberries. I never liked cranberries and I don't plan to start now. Salt and pepper shakers. I avoid salt whenever possible and only use fresh ground pepper. Looks like mashed potatoes. I'm not that interested in mashed potatoes right now. It's a bowl of bananas. I'm not in the mood for bananas. There's no food on the plate. I don't want that. I'm not in the mood for bananas. Damn, there's so much stuff that we egg. could take and we don't need. It's a tire swing. Hmm. Guess we're just getting out of here then. empty. 
How is it empty? Look at all the tar. It's empty. Mm, no. How strange. The hold is full of broken luggage. Whoops, there's no rowboat. Whoops, there's no rowboat. Wait, how do I get off then? Oh, the plank. <laughs> Perfect. Wait, can I take the plank with me? No? It was literally in the theater? Why would he hide it in the theater? So bizarre to me. So, can I look at this while I'm looking at that? Like, yeah, because this is kind of complex. Read them in threes, I guess. So it said two paces, I'm guessing you hit the button twice. Oh wait, two paces northeast. God damn it. Oh, did it? yeah, I reset it. I just realized. How did I get that one wrong? It was northeast, right? God, I'm bad at this. Hey, Max was there for a second. What was the last one? That's it! That must be where Elaine is buried. There is only one place where she could be buried. How do we do this, though? The moment I know you've all been waiting for! How about some amazing juggling? Is this a dagger I see before me? No, it's three! Mm. See how I juggle these knives? At great personal risk to myself, and <laughs> the I monkeys stay. at the bottom clapping. He's a great juggler, but I sure wish he'd get off the stage so I can dig Elena. Uh. Can't go back upstairs. How can I? Alas, poor Yorick, I knew you. <laughs> and his two pals. We. Hmm. Wait, the chest is open. Cannonballs. It looks like he's gonna juggle these cannonballs. I don't want to haul those cannonballs. What can I put in there instead of cannonballs? The label on the bottle says, paste will not adhere to dental work, hair, or cannonballs. <laughs> Darn. I forgot that it mentioned that before. What else can I sabotage cannonballs with? Helium? I can't use a balloon with that. Hmm. Grease? Uh oh. It looks like he's coming for the cannonballs now. And now, the ultimate Shakespearean delight. The famous cannonball juggling scene from <laughs> Romeo and Juliet. Whoa! Oops! <laughs> I'm glad it had a happy ending and he got the, um, got the girl in the end. <laughs> He's still there clapping. 
<laughs> Elaine should be safe up in the crow's nest for now. Okay, so we got our ship, our crew. Well, I've got, we got a crew, Elaine. a map, a ship, and yeah. finally got Elaine back. So what say we head on to Blood Island to lift the curse and save Elaine? How about it, guys? Let's get moving towards Blood Island. Let's head on out and find our fortune, guys. <laughs> this might be more difficult than I first imagined. Very uh, familiar feeling. <laughs> Ah, the sea. Aye, the sea. Makes you glad to be alive. I think that ship is following us. Feel that salty spray. The sunlight Blue. sparkling off the bay. What a glorious seafaring day. It's a pirate ship. We've got to outrun her. All right, men. Are you with me? Hey, look, guys. A whale. Where? Where? That ship is gaining on us. Cutthroat Bill, rig the topsail. Is that a right whale? <laughs> no, no lie. They're boarding us. Crew, help me out here. It is a member of the Cetus suborder, Mr. Shetty. I think you're right. Well, well. Oh, Jesus, guy. So it's you. What do you want other than a good toupee? I've come for your map to the fabled blood alarm. Then I'll find the diamond you mentioned. It will make a fun paper well for my escritoire. Ooh, look! It's breaching! <laughs> ah! Look, Baldy, I'll never give you that map. I need it to save Elaine. Then I'll have to take it from you by force. That whale must be 30.5 meters. 100 feet. And weigh <laughs> 200 metric tons. You know, of course, in a sword fight, a sharp weed is much more important than a sharp blade. Of course. Everybody knows that, Chrome Dome. Let's get this over with. Every enemy I've met, I've annihilated. Oh, yeah? Well, you fight like a cow. <laughs> no, 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 no. That's not right at all. What? On the sea, we fight it a little differently. On the sea, all your insults and threats have to rhyme. What? So Again. when I say every enemy I've <laughs> met, I've annihilated, you say... I once found some gold, but it was just electroplated? No. You say, with your breath, I'm sure they are suffocated. Let's try that again, shall we? You're as repulsive as a monkey in a negligee. Uh... I'm waiting. I... Uh, I... Dang. Just as I thought. <laughs> You're an amateur with this world. Give me that map. Here. Take it. That's your map? Yeah. <laughs> as soon as I'm through piloting these waters, it's off to blood alone. Until we meet again, Monsieur Tweebud. Now we gotta train our sword fighting again. We've got to get that map back or we'll never find Blood Island. Thanks, guys. You were a world of help back there. It was a rousing battle, Captain. Aye, and it reminds me of a song. Oh, no. We're a band of vicious pirates are sailing out to sea. When you hear a gentle singing, you'll be sure to turn and flee. Oh, this is just ridiculous. They call Guy Rush's singing bad. <laughs> song we got to move the battle will be long but our courage we will prove <laughs> we're a pack of scurvy sea dogs Have we pity not a dram we only roasted garlic dancing from the diaphragm a pirate i was meant to be trim the sails and roam the sea let's go defeat that evil pirate we know he's sure to lose, because we know just where to fire it. We're thieving balladeers. A gang of cutthroat mugs. <laughs> to fight us off, you won't need guns. Just jolly good ear plugs. A pirate I was meant to be. Trim the sails and roam the sea. Come on, men. We've got to recover that map. That pirate will be done for when he falls into our trap. 
We're a club of tune for rovers. We can sing in every clef. We can even hit the high notes. It's just too bad we're tune deaf. A pirate <laughs> I was meant to be. Trim the sails and roam the sea. Stop, stop, stop. The brass is what for polish and the deck is what for mop. You say you're nasty pirate, steaming, thieving, bad bush whackers. From what I've seen, I tell you, you're not pirates, you're just slackers. A pirate I was meant to be. Trim the sails and roam the sea. Oh. <laughs> I see where this is going. Roam the sea. We'll surely avoid scurvy if we all eat an orange. <laughs> and, um... Well, <laughs> uh, door hinge? No, no. Guess the song's over then. Guess so. Okay, back to work. Well, gee, I feel a little guilty now. <laughs> Captain. Yes, Mr. McMahon. We were wondering, we were, just what kind of captain you are. What do you mean, Haggis? Well, some captains are men of action. They like to have complete responsibility and control for their ship. Other captains prefer to concentrate more on the thinking aspects of captaining. The captain who's a man of action will undoubtedly have a much more difficult time of defeating other scoundrels of the sea in the fast-paced realm of ship-to-ship -ship combat. The more academic captain will find the other pirate vessels he meets to be less aggressive and therefore far easier and quicker to defeat in combat. I see. So How are they asking me difficulty on this mini game? Captain B. I guess I'll go with the tough sea battle, right? I love a tough sea battle as much as the next captain. Challenging ship combat it is. Oh no. <laughs> Am I going to regret that? I'll probably save it because I haven't saved it in a while. <laughs> uh, Haggis? Yes? What am I doing here? Well, Captain Fritwood, if you e'er be hoping to defeat this Scalawag Rottingham ship to ship, we'll be needing some bigger cannon. So, mm. lad, I say we tackle some of the wee pirates that prowl these waters. We'll seize their treasure and use it to buy new weaponry back at Puerto Pollo. Never mind. Aye. I guess I should head to this one. Oh. I don't remember how you do this. Oh, whoops. <laughs> oh, right click to shoot. Oh no. I really don't remember this minigame very well, well at all. So he's getting away. Oh no! It's only firing like one or two. Pirates have been defeated. How dare you attack my ship! I'm Guybrush Streetwood, a mighty pirate. Don't make me laugh! You're as repulsive as a monkey in a negligee. Oh yeah? <laughs> Every enemy I've met, I've annihilated. I am rubber, you are glue. You're ugly. <laughs> ah, is that the best you can come up with? I've never seen such clumsy sword play. 
I'll meet you in the foyer. That, that kind of rhymes. <laughs> when your father first saw you, he must have been mortified. With iron and vitamins, it's been fortified. <laughs> Give me your treasure, you sea skunk. Treasure? You wanted treasure? I'm sorry, I'm fresh out. <laughs> I guess I need more practice with this sword fighting stuff. Hey, at least I showed him in the high seas combat part. Well, we got some new insults out of that. Really not fearsome pirate. <laughs> what do you want? Your treasure or your life? You won't live to regret this! Okay. I have never seen such clumsy swordplay. Oh, yeah? When your father first saw you, he must have been mortified. I'm shaking, I'm shaking. You're as repulsive as a monkey in a negligee. I am rubber, you are glue. Nice, first victory. You win! Give me your treasure. Take it. It was cluttering up me hold anyway. We're loaded with booty. So, did they say I have to spend it? Oops. Uh, Haggis? Yes? Hmm. Never mind. Aye. Or does it just do it automatically? Wait, oh. Yeah, I guess it just does it automatically or something. Question mark. Bastard. <laughs> it's going the other way. <laughs> nice. So you're a pirate, says ye. You'll have to prove it, says I. Your treasure or your life? I have never seen such clumsy swordplay. I am rubber. You are glue. When your father first saw you, he must have been mortified. I am rubber. You are glue. This guy's not even going to try to fight back. You're as repulsive as a monkey in a negligee. I look that much like your fiance. Oh, now he's fighting back. I can't rest till you've been exterminated. Hmm. <laughs> With your breath, I'm sure they all suffocated. You can't match my witty repartee. I would have avoided the volcano had I built Pompeii. <laughs> Open your hole so I may take your treasure. Okay, okay. But can I keep my copy of Currents and Wind Patterns of the Sea of Beige Flotsam, 3rd edition? Well, seeing as I already have the 4th edition, okay. <laughs> Semi-fearsome pirates. So you're a pirate, says ye. You'll have to prove it, says I. I'm Guybrush Streetwood, a mighty pirate. Don't make me laugh. I can't rest till you've been exterminated. I'm shaking, I'm shaking. You can't match my witty repartee. Oh, yeah? 
I have never seen such clumsy swordplay. I am rubber. You are glue. Nice. You win! Give me your treasure. The treasure is yours. We're loaded with booty. Not earning that many uh, comebacks so far. Oh shit. Where are you? Where are you going? Get your ass over here. Where is he going? Fast enough. I guess I could trap him here. It's the corner, right? So slow. Really? Uh oh. Uh oh. Shit, really? We lost a sea battle. So humiliating for a pirate of my skill and experience. so much slower than they are. Never seems to come close enough. Can't like spend money or something. Oh, Thundertown Harbor. Well, oh. well, well. I guess you've learned an important lesson about cheating. I sure have, Mister. Golly, <laughs> I'll never cheat on anyone ever again. Honest. I've got a new business now, and gosh, it's swell. What is it? I'm running guns. Tell me you're <laughs> lying. I never lie anymore, Mister. You've shown me the light. Can I interest you in some shrapnelizing ammunition designed to bring exquisite pain and unreasonable suffering to all your enemies? What do you have for sale today? Today, customer name here. Uh, what's your name again? Guybrush Threepwood. Today, Mr. Leapgood, I can offer you the complete line from Bob's Big Four Boomer Brand Cannon Incorporated. Boomer Cannons. To start with, we have the entry-level model, the Buccaneer's Buddy. We also have the following cannon models available. The Ouchmaster, the Homemaker Deluxe, the Pain Giver 2000, <laughs> Mr. Massacre, and finally, the cannon used by that most fearsome scoundrel, Rene Rottingham himself, the Destructomatic T-47. So, can I interest you in any of these models, mister? I'll take the Destructomatic T-47. 
you just ordered the Destructo Matic T47 armor piercing carnage delivery system with auto loading and fax motor. Quite a fine piece of hardware, if I do say so myself. Now, will that be doubloons, jewels, captured maidens? My ship's hull's full of booty. Well, the amount in your treasure hold is not enough for this model. Not even if I take your old cannon and give you credit for the trade-in. Can I interest you in a less expensive model? I'll take I the Buccaneer's we'll buddy. Trade the Buccaneer's buddy it is. Let me just check my stock. Yep, we got him. You will not be disappointed, my friend. I'll have my mom install your new cannon Prano. While she's at it, I'll also have her pick up the appropriate amount from your hold and pick up your trade-in. Mom! <laughs> I don't know if I'm supposed to do more than one trade-in or what. They might be able to afford more. Back again, mister? What do you have for sale today? Today, customer name here. Uh, what's your name again? Guybrush Threepwood. Today, Mr. Leap. I guess I can skip ahead to that. I'll take the Ouchmaster. The Ouchmaster it is. Mom! I'm not sure how many I can go up. Back again, mister? I'd like to buy some cannons for my pirate ship. I'll take the Holemaker Deluxe. Listen, I'm not doing this for my health, you know. Just because you're a grown-up doesn't mean you can waste my time. Come back when you have some green toothpick. Sure. So we got better cannons. Jeez. There's so many of them. I have never seen such clumsy swordplay. You would have, but you're always running away. Ah, when your father first saw you, he must have been mortified. Hmm. I look that much like your fiance? I can't rest till you've been exterminated! With your breath, I'm sure they all suffocated. <laughs> At least they learned Give one more. Give me your treasure, you sea skunk. If I had treasure, don't you think I'd spend it before grappling with the likes of you? Aye, I suppose you would. Never mind then. Who are you? I've come to plunder your treasure. You won't live to regret this. When your father first saw you, he must have been mortified. I remember you were glue. You can't match my witty repartee. I remember you were glue. <laughs> I can't rest till you've been exterminated. I'm shaking. I'm shaking. You win. Give me your treasure. You filthy unwashed thing, you. Take it. <laughs> it was cluttering up the hold anyway. We're loaded with booty. Back again, mister? I'd like to buy some cannons for my pirate ship. I'll take the Holemaker Deluxe. One Holemaker Deluxe coming right up. 
Mom! Hey, we're getting there. When your father first saw you, he must have been mortified. At least mine can be identified. <laughs> I'll skewer you like a sow at a buffet. I look that much like your fiance? Heaven preserve me! You look like something that's died! Hmm. Well, I'm fit to be tied. <laughs> Open your hole so I may take your treasure. Treasure? You want a treasure? I'm sorry, I'm fresh out. What do you be wanting? Your treasure or your life? Arr! I'll skewer you like a sow at a buffet. I am rubber, you are glue. You're as repulsive as a monkey in a negligee. I am rubber, you are glue. Every enemy I've met, I've annihilated. With your breath, I'm sure they all suffocated. Oh. <laughs> I think we have that one. Oh yeah, you sorry? Let's go. I'll leave you devastated, mutilated, and perforated. Oh jeez. <laughs> My craving for peanuts will never be satiated. Killing you would be justifiable homicide. Hmm. I like my steak chicken fried. <laughs> Learning some new uh, phrases, at least. Open your hole so I may take your treasure. I haven't got any treasure. Why do you think I was attacking you? <laughs> You'd best sail away before you get hurt. <laughs> I'm Guybrush Threepwood, a mighty pirate. Don't make me laugh. Okay. Killing you would be justifiable homicide. I'm shaking, I'm shaking. I'll skewer you like a sow at a buffet. When I'm done with you, you'll be a boneless filet. <laughs> On guard! Touche! Uh... Before I was a pirate, I worked as a sommelier. <laughs> Throughout the Caribbean, my deeds are celebrated. A plant's life begins when it's been germinated. It's hard to remember which phrases I have the answers for, though. I fancy you have treasure. Hand it over! Treasure? You wanted treasure? I'm sorry, I'm fresh out. A pox on you for boarding me ship. I'm Guybrush Threepwood, a mighty pirate. Don't make me laugh. Okay. Killing you would be justifiable homicide. I'm shaking, I'm shaking. Uh, 
I'll leave you devastated, mutilated, and perforated. Your odor alone makes me aggravated, agitated, and infuriated. <laughs> I can't rest till you've been exterminated. Yeah, I don't think I have this one, do I? Well, you would have, but you were always running away. <laughs> I'll skewer you like a sow at a buffet. When I'm done with you, you'll be a boneless filet. Unga, touche. Oh yeah. Nice. You win. Give me your treasure, you wax-covered swab. The treasure is yours. We're loaded with booty. Back again, mister? I'd like to buy some cannons for my pirate ship. I'll take the Pain Giver 2000. The Pain Giver 2000 it is. Mom! <laughs> How great. More of this. <laughs> Ship battles are getting harder, it feels like. Up. I should be able to beat that ship. Oops, I examine him. Oh shit. Wow, that hit me. Here, you bastard. Just clip them with that one. Whoops, I did that miss so badly. badly. as repulsive as a monkey in a negligee. Oh, yeah. I have never seen such clumsy swordplay. You would have, but you were oh, always you running have away. One. I'll skewer you like a sow at a buffet. When I'm done with you, you'll be a boneless filet. I can't rest till you've been exterminated. I am rubber, you are glue. 
Nice. You win! Give me your treasure. You filthy unwashed thing, you. Ah, uh, take it. It was cluttering up the hold anyway. We're loaded with booty. Back again, mister? I'd like to buy some cannons for my pirate ship. I'll take the Mr. Massacre brand cannon. One Mr. Massacre. So I guess right one up. more random Mom! person, then we can fight the main guy. Although it feels like I'm still missing a ton of uh, comebacks. Oh, jeez. Normally they start far away from you. This guy started right on top of me. They can survive more hits than you can. You can't just take them in a one on one fight like that. Oops. They just go pretty far now, though. They use that more often. Shut up. Accidentally run away? Or something? I like, reached the end there and it, there was an arrow. Why would you want to run away from a fight though? And that's. Damn, that's winning that one too. one of
misjudging the reload time. Got him three there, nice. Damn it. Preserve me, you look like something that's died. The only way you'll be preserved is in formaldehyde. Would you like to be buried or cremated? Hmm. The only way you'll be preserved <laughs> is in formaldehyde. Yeah, I don't have that one yet. You're as repulsive as a monkey in a negligee. Do I have this? I look that much like your fiance? Hmm. Unga, touche. Oh, that is so cliche. Ooh. Give me your treasure. If I had treasure, don't you think I'd spend it before grappling with the likes of you? I, I suppose you would. Never mind then. Boarding a pirate ship can be hazardous to your life. Your treasure or your life. Good luck, boy. Yeah. Throughout the Caribbean, my great deeds are celebrated. Too bad they're all fabricated. Killing you would be justifiable homicide. The thing? only way you'll be preserved is no. in formaldehyde. Do I not have that answer then? When your father first saw you, he must have been mortified. At least mine can be identified. You can't match my witty repartee. I could if you would use some breath spray. Man, we're getting a lot of uh, replies here. Give me your treasure. I'm yes, guessing he's he's the last if one. If I had treasure, don't you think I'd spend it before grappling with the He probably wants you to reply I, to him a I bunch. I suppose you would. Never mind then. Probably like their way of uh, keeping you out. Boarding a pirate ship can be hazardous to your life. I'm Guybrush Threepwood, a mighty pirate. Don't make me laugh. Killing you would be justifiable homicide. Oh, yeah? I can't rest till you've been exterminated. Then perhaps you should switch to the caffeinated. <laughs> I'll skewer you like a sour at a buffet. When I'm done with you, you'll be a boneless fillet. Heaven preserve me, you look like something that's died. The only way you'll be preserved is in formaldehyde. I've never seen such clumsy swordplay. 
Well, you would have, but you were always running away. Nice. You win! Give me your treasure, you wax-covered swab. Take it. You must cluttering up the hold anyway. We're loaded with booty. Back again, mister? I'd like to buy some cannons for my pirate ship. I'll take the Destructomatic T-47. Whoa, mister. You entered a select group of pirates. Mom! <laughs> okay, before I continue, I'm gonna save it and take a small break to go to the washroom. I will be right back. Right back in. Okay, let's take on this bastard. <laughs> Where is he? Oops. sound that plays afterwards. Oh, are you gonna get it? Your looks would make pigs nauseated. Hmm. I'm pretty sure these are gonna be different than the other ones. Then perhaps you should switch to decaffeinated. Oh, really? Huh. You have the sex appeal of a Sharpe. I look that much like your fiance? I give you a choice. You can be gutted or decapitated. Hmm. <laughs> Your odor alone makes me aggravated, agitated, and infuriated. Yeah, I don't think that was right. I can't tell which of my traits has you the most intimidated.
Too bad they're all fabricated. Really? When I'm done, your body will be rotted and putrefied. At least mine can be identified. Damn. My skills with a sword are highly venerated. Too bad they're all fabricated. Ooh. Your mother, where's that to pay? <laughs> oh, that is so cliche. Your stench would make an outhouse cleaner irritated. Hmm. Then perhaps you should switch to decaffeinated. I'm surprised that was the right one. Nothing on this earth can save your sorry hide. <laughs> so our tax forms are simplified. At least mine can be identified. Um, really? I guess I'll I got too many wrong. Boat before I maroon you on the island of clumsy dental assistance. It was close. I just noticed the cannons, jeez. So, it's you again. I've come for my map. I've nothing to fear from you, urchin. Nothing on this earth can save your sorry hide. Oh, it was identified, right? The only one that runs. At least mine can be identified. What? What that was it? I give you a choice. You can be gutted or decapitated. Hmm. Then perhaps you should switch to decaffeinated. I don't know the answer to this. Oh, that is so cliche. My skills with a sword are highly venerated. Too bad they're all fabricated. Never before have I faced someone so sissified. None of these seem to rhyme with it except this one. At least mine can be identified. My attacks have left entire islands depopulated. I feel like I'm missing a few. With your breath, I'm sure they all suffocated. Nothing can stop me from blowing you away. I could, if you would use some breath spray. Your stench would make an outhouse cleaner irritated. Mm. Your odor alone makes me aggravated, agitated, and infuriated. Damn it. You have the sex appeal of a Sharpe. I look that much like your fiance? Nice, we did it. Sacre bleu! I cannot believe it! I have been defeated in battle! So give me that map, take your ship and skedaddle. You win, you win, you'll get your map back. You were doomed from the start, you kleptomaniac. <laughs> all right, all right, I give up already. It's no wonder you lost with a sword so unsteady. 
Merci. I beg you, no more insults, please. Your smell and face remind me of moldy old cheese. Ah! We got the map back. Now we can sail to Blood Island. Sweet. On to part four. What is that title? Oh, jeez. Make some good progress today. Despite a rocky start where I didn't do anything for like half an hour. That's the way these games usually are for me, though. I always like forget the minor details of screen over. We've got to keep her on course for Blood Island! Man Helgen! I'm doing all I can here! Agus! Lend a hand! I'm barely holding on myself, mate! Oh my god, this wind! <laughs> She's the devil's own! That's not good. Whew. Oh, I guess I blacked out for a second. Where's Elaine? She flew a wee bit into the woods when we crashed. <laughs> Let's get going. We'll find her, then scour the island for the uncursed diamond ring that'll transform her back to normal. I don't be thinking we will, lad. What do you mean? I, I mean... What do you mean, Haggis? This be a mutiny, Captain. We're leaving you. Of course. Did I mention that I'm offering my crew a very attractive pension plan? Ah, uh, you did. And the stock options. But we're still leaving. But why, Haggis? Why? Well, I admit being your pirate crew's been a real pleasure. A real pleasure. But we've grown restless. We can hear the voice of the siren calling to us, and she says she'd be wanting us to do her hair. You're going back <laughs> to being barbers? Aye. We'll be sailing back to Plunder Island just as soon as we can fix the ship. Good luck, Captain Driftwood. It were a pleasure to be looting with you. I guess I'm on my own again. Well, what is this? Seriously, what is that bottle? It's a bottle of Captain Nick's shaving soap with a cork in it. Mm. It must have fallen from the barber's supplies when the ship wrecked. Wow, I lost a bunch of my items. I don't want to pin that. Why do I remember this? That, uh, to open that. Well, I can't pull the cork out with my hands. You have to do something to, like, the pin? The magic wand has no effect on that. You'd best be leaving that. That there hand lotion will be for the rough, dry skin that can often accompany ship repair. Hmm. Uh, Haggis? Aye. Mutiny's a big step. Are you sure you won't reconsider? I lad would all agree. We'd rather feel the spray of the tangle in our faces than the spray of the ocean. Hmm. Are you sure you don't want to be pirates again? I wish you would. We'd all rather be cutting hair than cutting throats. Well, except for Bill. Of course. <laughs> Join me or I'll kill you all. Of course you will, laddie. By the way, have you got any duct tape, laddie? We're reattaching the mainsail. Um, no. That's a shame. I guess we'll have to use nails then. How are the repairs coming? Well, lad, things could be worse. There's plenty of lumber on this island, so we'll be able to repair all the major holes in the hull. We'll also be adding a hardwood dance floor on the Lido deck. Nice. <laughs> hey, it's something we've been talking about for a while. You mutineers at best beware. Beware of what? Well, for one thing... Terrible pirate curse on you. <laughs> You'll be driven to madness by the shame of your own guilt. Oh, don't worry about me. I'll be just fine, lad. Just fine. I do this all the time. <laughs> My, that's a big bottle of lotion you have there. That's right, she be. And don't you be getting any ideas about stealing it. We are sure to be needing it, you see. Carpentry on this tropical climate can and will prematurely age your skin. It is but one of the many hardships a pirate must face daily during this barbarous age. Aye, 
And if we pirates didn't carry hand lotion aboard all our ships, we'd probably die from the chafing. <laughs> wow, if I were doing a history report on pirates and I included that fact, I'd get an A+. We're talking guaranteed A+. <laughs> and that A+, just might get you into the college of your choice. Think about it. I'll let you get back to work. Hmm. It's the map to Blood Island. Peeled off Palado's back. Actually, since we're here, I wonder why I still have that. All things. Okay, we got a bunch of places to explore. This will just do them in order, right? Elaine looks like she's all right. Hang on, honey. I'm going to get you out of this mess. It doesn't look like she's hurt. Well, except for that whole turn to gold by a pirate curse thing. I don't think she can hear me. No offense, Elaine, but you are way too heavy for me to haul you around. That ring is really stuck on her finger. Oh, is that what I need the lotion for? The bottle has a cork in it. Hmm. That ring is really stuck on her finger. They're too small and fast for me to catch with my hands. They sure are bright. Hmm. I can't use the skeleton arm. It's also weird that I still have the skeleton arm. <laughs> of all things. That seems like a waste of a perfectly good biscuit. Hmm. This pie pan won't do any good there. Hey, a stump. Hey, a stump. Mm, no. Hey, a stump. Hmm. Seeing those guys lit up never fails to bring a smile to my face. Feel the power of the ancient volcano goddess in Griswold Good Soup presents High Explosive, the most intense showgirl cabaret in the Caribbean. Starring Wilhelmina, temptress of the caldera, nightly at seven. Looks like it was quite a show. It's a big, heavy-looking cast iron cooking pot. I'm not gonna carry around that heavy iron pot for no reason. Hmm. Probably supposed to use that for something. This barbecue is too cold to cook anything. I can't lift a. Hmm. Fortune tower. I feel a dark presence coming over me. Hi there. Ah! <laughs> ah please. Keep it down. No screaming. Oh, my head. Hi, I'm Guybrush. And you would be? I am Madame Zima, mistress of the ancient arts of precognition and augury, diva of divination. Cool. You're a fortune teller. Ah, that and so much more. Whatever. Tell me my fortune. I do not think you wish to hear. There are things of which a man is better off being ignorant. Oh, but I'm already ignorant of so many things. <laughs> I want to know my future. No, you are not meant to know. I bet you just can't do it. That's the problem. You can't do it, and you're afraid everyone will find out you're just a phony. You know, I could put a curse on you that would make every morsel of food you eat become a ravenous cockroach inside your intestines, giving you the most excruciating death imaginable. So are you going to tell me my fortune or not? I'm not <laughs> kidding. OK, OK. What's in the cards for me? Fame? Fortune? Romance. Ah, very well. <laughs> we will consult the cards. After all that. The process of reading the tarot is a very complex one. Each draw of the cards foretells an upcoming event in your life. 
when assembled, they will tell the story of your future. A future filled with twists and... Ah! Good Lord, woman, stop that screaming. <laughs> what is it? Is that a good... Ah! It is death. Well, in the tarot, death just means change, right? I mean, it's nothing to get worried about, right? I uh, sure, whatever you say. <laughs> now, please go! Can I have that? Look! A three-headed monkey! Ah! Then the prophecies were true! Where? I don't see anything. They must have run away. This is a very bad omen. Hmm. It's a tarot card that says death. There must be some mistake. Read my tarot cards again. There is no mistaking your fate, Guybrush. The cards do not lie. But if you insist, once again, <laughs> it is death. How does that work? I'm feeling luckier. Give me another tarot reading. <laughs> Luck is not involved here, Guybrush. It is your destiny. Whatever. Let's see what the cards say this time. The card says death. Are you sure you're not dealing from the bottom of the deck? Remember that curse I told you about? Okay, okay. How many death cards could be in that deck? <laughs> Three death cards. I wonder if that means something. Hit me. <laughs> death. How many of those cards do you have anyway? There's got to be a limit, right? How about giving me one more tarot reading? This is evil work, Guybrush. The fates have conspired against you, and no man can interfere. Your path has been determined. Okay, I get your point. I really do. Just one more time for Guybrush. <gasps> Let me guess. Death? Leave this place. The whole huh? deck is just death, isn't it? You are putting us all in grave danger. Your very presence will bring us nothing but sickness, tragedy, and death. Oh, yeah? Well, demon! Demon! Madam Zima, I... Be gone. You will bring oh, death isn't there something else to all I could have said, who though? surround you. I guess I missed no out on my chance. No can come of this. Hmm. I don't want to get her mad at me. I mean, she's already mad at me. I've got five death cards. That can't be good. Drink grog. Hmm. Ooh. Leo of cheese. Extended family size processed cheese food spread. I think this is the stuff they use to make nachos. I can't pick up that entire wheel of cheese. No thanks. I'm not that hungry. Uh. I need something to chip off a chunk with. I mean, we had a knife and you got rid of it. I don't want to pin that. This pie pan won't do any good there. We also had a cutter for the uh, cookies, and we got rid of that, too. The magic wand has no effect on that. Hmm. I, I need do something that? to chip off a chunk with. I guess I don't have what I need. It's a big whoop souvenir magnet. I really don't want to know what's in there. Why not? I really don't want to know what's in there. Hmm. Hmm. Filing cabinet. I'm sure it's just a bunch of legal stuff I couldn't hope to understand. It's labeled Good Soup Family Records. Orc. That fork is stuck in all that congealed cheese. 
That fork is stuck in all that congealed cheese. That fork is stuck oh. in all that congealed <laughs> cheese. Nah. I'm sure it's never been cleaned. Oh, please stop touching things. Stop that racket. <laughs> it's a big whoop souvenir magnet. Hmm. I cut through the cheese. I don't want to cut that. I don't want to cut that. It says be a grog man. I don't want that. Why not? <laughs> Empty jar. It says we welcome your tips. Leave that alone and turn down the lights, will you? That doesn't take wooden nickels. Cushion. The cushion is starting to come off this bar stool. Huh. What am I going to need a cushion for? It's a soft cushion. Eww, yeah, gross. I don't carry around other people's spit anymore. I've grown past that stage. <laughs> Nah, they go straight to my hips. Mmm, pickles. Nah, they go straight to my hips. It's a picture of a really goofy looking pirate wannabe. Oh, wait. <laughs> nah. Oh, don't bother that. Just make the pain stop, please. No ID, no grog. Just one more example of how the man keeps us down. It's a picture of the galley of gravy. Oh, it's a gravy boat. Brochures. It says, visit Big Whoop for an eternity of pain and torment. I mean, fun and laughter. If you're a pirate with a sturdy skeletal structure and a high threshold for pain, but high threshold for pain is crossed out and replaced with craving for adventure, then Big Whoop <laughs> is the place for you. Visit Big Whoop. Do it right now. There's no pictures or maps or anything. It just says that it's an awful lot of fun. Honest. Hi, I'm Guybrush Threepwood, and I'm a... Stop yelling. I wasn't yelling, I was just... Oh, I've got a terrible hangover. Find something to clear my head, and I can talk to you. And keep it down. Hmm, something to clear his head. Shaving soap. I don't think he'd like that. <laughs> I don't think he'd like... Hmm. I don't think he'd like that. I also find it interesting that I kept the magic wand. I'd imagine it'd be useful somewhere else. It's made from porcelain. It's made from por yeah, porcelain. It's a shameless ad for Grog. More porcelain? When will this nightmare end? More porcelain? <laughs> when will this nightmare end? Uh. It's the Duchess Cream of Good Soup, of the Noodle Good Soups. It's Count Gaspacho Good Soup, the cold-hearted canning magnet. Baron C. Lambert Chowder Good Soup, pioneer of crouton technology. He looks a lot like the guy at the bar. Minerva Stroenheim Good Soup, Baroness of Borscht. Peter and Victoria Swa Good Soup, Marquis and Marquess of Consomme. Comfy. No time for that now. I've got a fiancé to rescue. It looks out onto the cemetery. It's locked. Mm. It's a bunch of old portraits of the Van Salad family. And I thought the good soups were a homely bunch. I don't have any use for portraits of the Van Salad family. I can't pull it in. Huh. Do I have something that I can knock it out with? I can't use the skeleton arm with that. Nah. Hmm. I don't think I do. I can't use the cushion with that. Let 
magic wand has no effect on that. Is that all that's in here, though? Is that nail? I can see the hallway. The point of that. It's already open. Nah. Hmm. I kind of remember a little bit of this, but I think I have to talk to him first. Hmm. I wonder how we can get that fork. That doesn't need a gold tooth. That doesn't need a gold tooth. Hmm. Oh, right, there's more places to explore out here, I just realized. <laughs> Been kind of in this one for a while. Wait, the different directions do anything? No? Oh, graveyard, okay. Your company name here Blood Island Municipal Housing for the Deceased. It's locked. Free dirt. <laughs> mm, no. It's locked. Miller the Sot. Here lies old Miller. He's far past his prime. He drank some weed killer with a half twist of lime. The Good Soup Family Crypt. Hmm. Man, there's a lot of places around here. It's a Blackbeard's Deckmaker workbench. I always wanted one, but... Nah. Those are too far gone to ever be useful. It's a scrap metal recycling bin. It's a bunch of old, rusted grave digging. Those are too far gone to ever be useful. Hmm, no. Very social, I guess. It says old blind pew. I don't want that. Mm -hmm. Someone should really learn to properly extinguish campfires. Mm, no. Chisel. Use that for the cheese. That's gonna be useful. It's beginning to spell a word. What could it be? Rib roast? Riboflavin? Ooh, a mallet. Looks like the grave digger is a little behind on his burials. Mm, no. It's a pile of new tombstones. Hmm. What's the point of that? <laughs> I can't use the chisel with that. Hmm. I can't use the mallet with that. I don't think he'd like that. I can't see anyone in there right now. It's locked tight. I can't use the mallet with that. I can't use the chisel with that. Oh, that's part of going over there. I hope the owner of this shack doesn't sleep in that. Mm, no. Mm hmm. 
I have a couple things I want to try doing here, I guess. What am I going to do with cheese? I have no idea. Hmm. Did I put it with the... this one? I don't want to use the cheese with that. It's broken and won't melt this cheese. That fork is stuck in all that congealed cheese. So can I do anything with this nail now? <laughs> I think I remember what this is for, but I'm surprised I haven't found anything to make him up yet. I'd better get rid of this incriminating picture frame. <laughs> really? What? This is one ugly picture. Looks just like the bartender. Wait a minute, I just realized... We have a pin. Hmm. I can only make out page 243. A compass is a magnetized bit of metal floating in a solution. Where do you get the solution? Because I wonder if you can make a uh, compass for whatever reason. That'll be coming up soon. I also want to try something else now in the other place. I'll have to walk all this way for this. I put this in the fire? Melt it up a bit. It doesn't look hot enough to melt this block of cheese. Huh. Oh, so that's the cemetery. Strange lights. Hmm. It's a wild pepper plant. I wonder if that's what the guy needs. I only need one. It's locked. They're spinning around the top of the windmill. I can't hold on with my bare hands. I can't use the skeleton arm with that. I mean, why not? <laughs> I can't use the mallet. I can't use the chisel with that. Hmm. Oh wait, did I try this yet? I can't use the chisel yeah, with that. I think I did. I think that's what he needs. Maybe I have to make him like a drink out of it or something. Here's a wild pepper for your hangover remedy. Shh. Thanks. Huh? I need more? What was that? I. Shh. Just get me the ingredients for a hangover remedy and I'll talk to you. How am I supposed to know what are the ingredients? I don't think he'd like that. Hmm. I don't think he'd like that. Oh, recipe book. <laughs> yeah, these are the drinks from the second one. <laughs> Lemon tonic. Discard remaining ingredients. <laughs> Ooh. 
One egg, pepper, and the hair of a dog. Oh! Oh my god. The dog bit me, didn't he? I had to go and grab his hair. I need an egg. <laughs> Secret biscuit recipe. Why is cilantro and everything in these uh, things? Okay, so I need an egg and the hair of that dog. But how does that make any sense, giving it to him? <laughs> it's a little literal, isn't it? I guess it is magic. <laughs> Where can I get an egg, though? Wait, did I not get any? Oh, smelly dog hair. Okay, fella, this won't hurt a bit. Hey, I guess it didn't hurt a bit. You must be shedding. It's the hair of the dog that bit me. <laughs> hmm. Strange lights. <laughs> This looks village familiar. is deserted. How curious. It's a table covered with different fruits and vegetables. Oh, I didn't even click on that. Walk of tofu. It's a large cube of tofu. I remember something about this. That looks like a mask. <laughs> Yeah, because I, I remember what you need that for. Very classy. Mm. I can't use the chisel with that. I can't use the mallet with that. Mm, no. It looks like kidney pie. Uh, it's holding cute little shrunken head brochettes. There's a tag on this one. Casserole medley surprise. That's probably last week's sacrifice. It looks like a ship skipper, first mate, a professor, and the rest. <laughs> Maybe later. Maybe later. Hmm. Maybe later. What? Is there a reason I can't pick those up? Finally, you're here. Come on, we're late for the sacrifice. God of the volcano who resides in Mount Acidopolis! Accept this sacrifice we make unto you. In the form of flesh with high amounts of fiber and wholesome cellulose. Free of all fat and trans fatty acids. So that it might nourish you and bring your favor upon our humble village. And not upset nor agitate your ulcerative caldera. <laughs> okay, boys, toss him in. You've been a wonderful audience. Thank you and good night. <laughs> Feed the volcano mannequins made from vegetables? Yes, we do. Sherman isn't a strict vegetarian, but fatty foods can cause him severe indigestion. Nice day for a sacrifice. Only one a day. Sherman is sensitive to overfeeding. What was the point of witnessing nice that? Nice day for a sacrifice. Only one a day. Sherman is sensitive to overfeeding. I don't want to throw him into the volcano. <laughs> hmm. 
Bubbly. I'd lose my hand in that. My mask of tofu won't do anything here. I can't think of any reason why I came up here. <laughs> <laughs> to a lactose intolerant volcano god. Do you know what that means? You brought about the coming of the divine dysentery. Run for your lives! Oh no. <laughs> that can't be good. Oh, all of that to get the cooking pot going. So that I can burn more, uh. <laughs> cheese, I guess. Wow, that was more spectacular than I'd hoped. So can I grab these now? Yeah, well, I wonder why you wouldn't let me grab them before. Is something supposed to happen if I walked over there without the mask? It's an auger. It's decorative yet functional. So, not too cheese left. Hmm. That doesn't need to be augered. That doesn't need to be augured. That doesn't need to be augured. Getting a bunch of different uh, items, but not the ones I need. Oh yeah, whoops, what am I doing? I want to go do this. Oh, I'm here. Use the measuring cup with that. I can't use the measure. Hmm. This pipe pan won't do any good there. So I have no way of gathering up the cheese. <laughs> I don't want to cook the cushion. <laughs> I'm not going to carry around that heavy iron pot for no reason. It feels soft. I can't use the chisel with that. I'm kind of surprised it mentioned that when I... I can't use the chisel with that. Everything else, yeah, it's just saying can't use it with this that. This is only for reading. Why did it mention putting the cushion then? I don't want to cook the cushion. I can't use the cushion with that. The lava has really heated up the barbecue. Don't know what I would need the nacho cheese for, to be honest. and all that congealed cheese. Then we just need an egg. This is some of the hair of the dog that bit me. Shh. Eggs. Hmm. What else I could do this cooking pot and nothing comes to mind. Cool, a magnetic pin. The mind boggles at the possibilities. I don't want to pin that. Ah, so that's for making the compass, which I don't know why I need to make a compass. I can't pull the cork out with my hands. How do I get a corkscrew? I can't use the chisel with that. Mm. The bottle has a cork in it. So I'm not quite sure what I'd use that for either. <laughs> like, I have a bunch of items like that. I'm not sure about. It's a question mark over here. What is this? There's an egg. It's 
stopping you from getting the egg besides the fact that it's up in the tree. Uh, I can't reach it. <laughs> Walking in a weird spot for that. I can't use the skeleton arm with that. Hmm. It is a rubber tree. I can't shake it hard enough with just my hands. I can't use the skeleton arm. The egg would break when it hit the ground. Huh. Oh. I don't need any rock. Is that what the cushion's for? Seems like a bad idea. It worked, though. What kind of egg is that that is so big, though? Lost Welshman Ferry Line. Haunted sea cruises and whale watching excursions daily. Hmm. Sea water? Those advertisements were no lie. It really is crystal clear. I really don't want to go in the ocean. Nah. It's full of seawater. It's full of seawater. Huh, I wonder what I need that for. There's something in here besides. I'm trying to think. I don't think there's anything else in here I could make, right? Okay, so we got his, uh, thing. I just realized, is this music supposed to be playing everywhere? I'm gonna worry that the, it's doing I that bug again. I found for your hangover remedy. Shh! Eggs. That's all the ingredients I need. Let me quietly mix up a dose. Take the rest. I don't believe we've met. Who are you? I am Griswold, last of the good soups and proprietor of this hotel. You may have heard of us and our soup restaurant resort empire that stretches across the Caribbean. Well... Uh, this was once our proudest resort. Uh, but it lost all its popularity after the regular eruptions of Mount Acidopolis stopped. The volcano has erupted! Yes, I know! The Good Soup Empire is saved! Well, I'm happy for you. <laughs> Soon the resort will be flooded with tourists coming to see the volcano. And I can finally put on the show I was working on the last time we had guests. What show is that? Voulez-vous, vicious soirs? A dramatic musical about a talented young Parisian soup chef who is cruelly taken down by the Paris culinary establishment for her revolutionary ideas about soup preparation. I'm sure it'll be a big hit. <laughs> I'd like a drink, please. Sure. What will you have? Mm. Give me something to clear my sinuses. One grog and menthol. Coming right up. Sure, sure. Ah, Papa Pichu. Here's your glass <laughs> back. Hmm. What do you know about the lost ring of Blood Island? Oh, that's a very sad chapter in my family's history. My great aunt Minnie Stroney Good Soup. Was a well member of Blood Island society. Her one weakness was her romantic nature. She had a thing for pirates, one in particular. He came into port, she fell instantly in love, and they were engaged within the week. Then, on the eve of their wedding, he stole the fantastic good soup diamond from her ring mm. and sold it to smugglers on Skull Island. 
She wore the empty engagement band on her finger until the day she died, which was not long after. Some say she still haunts the Good Soup family, too. It is a sad story, is it not? Hmm? Oh, I'm sorry, I wasn't listening. Uh, could you repeat that? Get lost, Chowderhead. <laughs> Hypothetically, how would one get into your aunt's tomb? I suppose you would have to die. Oh, crud. <laughs> how can I get out to Skull Island? Well, there used to be a regular ferry out to Skull Island. Used to? Ah, one cold night, so the tale goes. The Welshman set out at his dinghy. The deep fog around Skull Isle obscured even the moon see the distant light of the Blood Island Lighthouse. When it rode half the distance, the light in the lighthouse was mysteriously smashed, and the poor Welshman was lost, almost never to be seen again. Uh, almost? Oh, there are those who say that late at night, if you stare into the fog long enough, you may see the flying Welshman rowing in his ghostly dinghy, lost <laughs> for all eternity. Creepy. How can I get out to Skull Island? Well, there used to be a regular ferry out to Skull Island, but he was lost to sea when the lighthouse broke. He never was a very strong navigator. How's business? Oh, it's just wonderful. Now that the volcano's erupting again, the reservations are just pouring in. Soon every room in the hotel will be filled. All except for that one room. The room with the guest that never left. Is this going to okay. be scary? Because I warn you. Every night we heard strange noises coming from his room. Frightful crashing sounds that shook the entire hotel. Each followed by the most horrible screaming and cursing. And then, one night, the sounds just stopped, but were replaced with a terrifying wailing and moaning. I had the room sealed and vowed <laughs> never to enter that hateful place again. So someone just died up there and you just left him? Hmm. I'd like a drink, please. Sure. I can remember Hopefully part can. of this, but... I'd like something subtle with a hint of oak. Here you go, lady. Head be clear. We're clearing foggy heads. Bottles closed. <laughs> that opened it. Well, that makes the drink oh so much more appealing. You're not supposed to mix it, it with alcohol. It just occurred to me that mixing medicine and alcohol is a really stupid and possibly lethal thing to do. If I were a real person instead of a lovably inept cartoon character with the potential for a few more sequels, I wouldn't even <laughs> consider it. Skull. That's odd. It's supposed to cause drowsiness. I don't feel the least bit drowsy. Oh no. In fact, I, uh... In fact, I feel, uh... <laughs> <laughs> Dead. <laughs> so then the undertaker says, I wanted to be a pallbearer, but I couldn't stop coughing. Oh, 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 you crack me up, Mort. So what's with the new guy? Oh, he's been like that for an hour now. Passed out cold. He'll come around. I don't know. I'm pretty sure he's dead. <laughs> I guess that's the end of the game, then. What with him being the main character and all? <laughs> I didn't think you could die in LucasArts Adventure Games. Well, maybe they're trying something different. I love it. When I should take care of him? Would you? It's bad for business, having him just lie there. Rest in peace and all that. The end. <laughs> yep. That's my Curse of Monkey Island. Zero to 800 hey. points. <laughs> I'm not really dead.
Oh, yeah, it's on. totally the end. Out. Hmm. Wait, where am I? Am I in this one? It won't open. I'm trapped. It sure is dark. Oops. Oh, I don't have the Ventrocus book anymore? Wow. It won't open. I'm trapped. I can't use the mallet with that. I had to guess I only have to use items that I needed in order to get the... It'd be queer. Yeah, they wouldn't let you get trapped in here, obviously. Yikes. Where's that telltale pounding coming from? It's coming from within <laughs> one of these coffins. From the dead. The dead that surround me. <laughs> I like the guy rushes it's in the first storm to be secret. buried alive like this. They'll never let me rest until I've paid for the wrongs I've committed against. <laughs> Wait a second. I don't have a horrible secret. I mean, you kind of do. I can't open it. I think that knocking is coming from inside this coffin. Yeah, I can't open it because it seems somebody nailed it close. I wonder who that could be. <laughs> I'd love this. I'm glad to be finally out of that Their thing. favorite salesman. It was a spacious, comfortable model with plenty of leg and headroom. Well, hello there. Say, you look familiar. Uh, <laughs> yes, well... Uh... Of course, Guybrush Threepwood. You're the one who locked me in there in the first place. Well, you see, I've been meaning to... No, no, I won't hear of it. That was the best time of my <laughs> life. It gave me plenty of time to think, you know? To think about the things that really matter. I don't know if you've considered this, son, but live burials are not an altogether uncommon experience here in the Caribbean. I wasn't aware of that. Not to mention pirate raids and deadly sea battles, huge man-eating reptiles, dangerous quicksand pits, trigger-happy duelists, and of course, those pesky undead. Have you ever thought of what would happen to your loved ones should this gruesome fate befall you? No, but... but... Well, of course, you have plenty of time to think about it. Or do you? <laughs> I'm one of the lucky ones. I've been dead. It's given me a whole new perspective on life. A life that I'm going to devote to making sure people's life insurance needs are met. Here, take one of my business cards I've had made up. How did he make up new business cards? If you've been locked in that coffin, <laughs> how are you able to have business cards made? Now's not the time to worry about the technicalities, son. Now's the time to ask yourself, are you covered? Run along now and let me set up my office. Mm -hmm. We're trapped in here. The door's locked. Nonsense. This is one of Stan's cozy crypts, all equipped with a patented secure lock release mechanism. Just jiggle the handle there. <laughs> is there anything else I can pick up in here? I wonder where their bodies are. Mm, no. I think I need coverage right now. Now hold on just a minute there, son. Give me a chance to get the office set up. Run along now. Oh, right. <laughs> oh. He doesn't set it up right away? Oh, maybe I have to leave, like, the whole area? <laughs> Instantly. Mutual of Stan. Anchor's lamp. Mm, no. A sure sign of a fine, classy business establishment. What is it about these things that makes them so popular in office settings? Mm, no. File cabinets. So where do you mm. get all this stuff so quickly? Water cooler. It's 
It's from the Caribbean Correspondence Institute. Mm, no. You've convinced me. I want to buy some insurance. A wise choice, and one you won't soon regret. The question isn't whether or not you can afford to buy an insurance policy. It's whether you can afford not to. Speaking of which, can you afford to buy an insurance policy? Well, how much does it cost? Oh, that depends on a variety of factors. How much coverage you need, how much you're willing it's to spend. It's actually funny that we haven't all sorts of highly complicated money in this one besides the nickels. And such. But I won't bore you with all that. Just let me ask you this. How much money do you have? Well, I've got these wooden nickels. I see. Maybe I've confused you somewhere along the line. <laughs> well, nothing would please me more to send you out of here. With the peace of mind that your family will be provided for in the unlikely event of your death, I have to run a business here. If you can't at least show me some collateral, I can't give you a policy. Oh, I wonder if I get the, uh, the cursed ring, if I could do that. How about an enormous uncursed diamond? How about that? Do you have an enormous uncursed diamond? Okay, no. But I'm like this close to getting one. Well, I'm this close to believing that you're trying to take advantage of my generosity. Maybe you'd like to make me a serious offer, hmm? This antique handcrafted bottle of rich, creamy shaving soap. The closest, most comfortable shave possible. Not interested. This one-of-a-kind Big Whoop refrigerator magnet. Very collectible. Not interested. This attractive mallet and chisel combination set. Use them separately or as a pair. I don't <laughs> think so. An assortment of tarot cards. Practice the mystic art of fortune telling at home or on vacation. Surely you're joking. This highly accurate map to Blood Island. I absolutely guarantee you won't find another one just like it. I don't think so. This authentic pirate relic. A genuine tooth from an actual pirate. Only one of its kind. Is that oh, that's real actually gold? gonna work, isn't Finest it? known to man. Not much spit on it either anymore. Now you're starting to speak my language. All right, let's find a coverage plan that suits your needs. And you can rest assured that you provided for your family well after your unfortunate departure. What are the terms of this plan exactly? It's quite simple, son. When you die, whoever holds that policy gets a lot of money. A lot of money? Wow. Wow is right. Now I want you to be careful out there. OK, I will. Thanks. No, I'm serious. I want you to be very, very careful. Will do. <laughs> this entitles the bearer of this document to the sum of a lot of money. <laughs> hmm. Mutual of Stan, because you could die horribly at any moment. It's even laminated. I've already read it. I can't remember what you do with the insurance policy. Okay. I know I could fake my death at any time. I just don't know who you give that to. Maybe to Haggis? Hi, guys. I guess you'll be wondering how I came to be back from the dead. No questions for the dead guy come back to life? No questions like, is there life after death or is there a heaven? Will there be adequate parking? Fine, be that way. I wouldn't tell you about the hereafter if you begged me. <laughs> I thought if I died, I'd be buried with your aunt. Well, isn't it obvious? You can't be buried in the Good Soup family crypt unless you're a member of the Good Soup family. A member of the family, huh? Uncle Griswold, it's me! Don't you recognize me? <laughs> recognize you? I've never seen you before in my life. What is your name? Hearty Beef and Potato. Hearty Beef and Potato? I come from good Irish stock. Hmm. <laughs> I don't recall having any relatives with that name. Uh. I'm off to explore the rustic charms of Blood Island. Oh, well, I guess I've already looked at these. But... It's the Duchess Cream of Good Soup, of the Noodle Good Soups. It's Count Gaspacho Good Soup, the cold-hearted canning magnet. Minerva Stronheim Good Soup, Baroness of Borscht. Peter and Victoria Soie Good Soup, 
Marquis and Marquess of Consomme. So, is any of that gonna help me? I didn't really memorize it. <laughs> look at me. Don't I look just like a good soup? No, you don't look much like a good soup at all. In fact, you look more like one of the broths, child. They always did have weak features. Are you sure? Of course I'm sure. Every day I wander the Good Soup family hall of portraits and give my respects to each of my distinguished ancestors. Every distinguishing feature of the Good Soup family is there in those pictures. And I see nothing in any of those portraits that might remind me of you. Look at me. Don't I look just like a Good Soup? No, I still don't think you have those noble Good Soup features. If you looked at all like a good soup, I might believe your story. Hmm. I'm off to explore the rustic charms of Blood Island. I can't use the chisel with that. There, I've cut out the face. I can't remember how you do this, do you? <laughs> Just put it on the door? <laughs> It's so stupid. <laughs> oh, there's nothing like family. No matter what may happen in the topsy-turvy world of the Caribbean resort business, I can always relax in the knowledge that I come from good, wealthy stock. Breeding. That's what's important. Breeding and culture, just like Grandfather Lambert. Breeding, culture, and lots and lots of really old money. Mm, it makes a man proud. It's funny. I don't remember Grandfather Lambert as looking so, so common. <laughs> Oh, weird. It's like his eyes follow me. Pictures like that really creep me out. Nice. Look at me. Don't I look just like a good soup? Now that you mention it, you do bear a slight resemblance to my great-grandfather, C. Lambert Good Soup. Clammy? Why, folks back home used to tell me all the time. You're the spitting image of old chowder good soup. You know, I think you're right. Ah, uh, I wonder why I didn't see it before. I could just talk about good soup history all day. Well, this is a wonderful chance for us to catch up on old times. What? Remember when our family first sailed onto Blood Island? Do I? I still get goosebumps at the thought of it. Ah, yes. When was that again? Uh, oh, no. 14, 8, 8, 7, 33? 1433? 2? No. I can't believe someone of the Good Soup bloodline could be so ignorant of our family's heritage. Hmm. I'm off to explore the rustic charms of Blood Island. I must just to find out about history. It's a bunch of old portraits of mm. the Van Salad family. I guess that's not that important, is it? It's locked. I'd like a drink, please. Sure. What will you have? Give me a big fruity drink with an umbrella in it. Good choice. It's a delicious taste of the islands. Made with lemon, grapefruit, and ground beef. Hey, don't I get one of those decorative <laughs> umbrellas to go in my tropical drink? Uh, 
Um, I don't think we have any. No, I'm wrong. I do have this one. Nice. Oh, I got an umbrella now. Sweet. <laughs> it's a Cervantes brand umbrella. Very stylish. Not sure what I need an umbrella for. Dead again. This guy's dead again? Yeah, he's just faking it. No, I'm pretty sure it's the real thing this time. Ooh, you say so. He's an awfully fragile little fella, isn't he? I'll take care of him. Wait. But... Oh, I guess I didn't prove it yet. Well, hello. What a surprise you're dropping in like this. Now you see, this is exactly what I was talking about. Okay, so, uh... Wait, what happened to the policy? Or oh, there is, what am I thinking? I'm cashing in this insurance policy. Give me a lot of money. But this is a life insurance policy. You collect when the policyholder dies. I mean, I no, just died. honest. I was dead for a really long time. And you just got better? Well, yes. Do you have any proof of this miracle? As a matter of fact, smart guy, no. <laughs> then it appears that you're just wasting my time. Run along and play now. I'm trying to run a business here. Hmm. Oh, what if I can I give him that? Hey, what an amazing story I have to tell. I was dead, but I live again. Who wants to hear about it? <laughs> eh, you guys don't deserve to hear a good story. I don't think he'd like that. Why not? <laughs> If I keep dying, uh, he cash that in. I don't think he'd like that. Mm -hmm. It's the face that I cut out of the good soup portrait. Hmm. Is it, it, whoop, do it right now. Right. But there's no maps or pictures. I can't use the portrait face with that. I can't use I can't use the portrait face with that. I wonder if I'm supposed to use that for I something. I can't face that. That doesn't look hungover at all. <laughs> that doesn't need to be augured. There's so many items that I haven't used yet. I don't think he'd like that. The bottle has a cork in it. How can I get that cork out? That doesn't need to be augured. I can't use the umbrella with that. I don't want to cut that. Hmm. Anything new to say? Uh, Haggis? Hey. I'll let you get back to work. Yeah, we couldn't get in here, right? Oh, wait a minute. I think I remember this now. It's locked. Sweet. Mm, no. It's full of fermenting sugar water used for making rum. Nah. Sugar water? It's full of sugar water now. It's full of sugar water. So I can get sugar water and sea water. What for?
Was that all that this place is for? Huh. I don't know what I need that for. It's a statue of Myron, god of parsley and other garnishes. Mm, no. I'm not going back up there. It's too dangerous. Huh? Ick. I'm not going back up there. It's too dangerous. Hmm. It's an idol of Ricky, the helpful god of finger bowls. Mm, no. Probably no reason to be back down here, right? Hmm. Lost Welshman Ferry Line. Haunted sea cruises and whale watching excursions daily. Hmm, no. I can't use the mallet with that. I can't use the mallet with that. That doesn't need to be augured. I can't use the chisel with that. I can't use the map. Mm -hmm. I can't use the umbrella. There's nothing I could like shove in there to pry it open. I don't want to cut that. Mm -hmm. I can't use the chisel with that. The pin just sinks. I need to make it float. I've already magnetized the pin. The pin just sinks. I need to make it float. What would make a pin float? Because it's sugar water right now? It's full of sugar water. I'm still not sure what I need the compass for. Something different, right? It's full of seawater. The pin just sinks. I need to make it float. Huh. I've already magnetized the pin. I can't use the magnet with that. That doesn't look hungover at all. I can only make out page 243. A compass is a magnetized bit of metal floating in a solution. Let's see what the solution I is. I can't taste that. What else do I need to be doing around here? Can I grab more out here? I'm just curious. No. I can't do anything with this, can I? I can't use the measuring cup with that. I can't use the portrait face with that. Fortune telling won't work with that. Hmm. I don't want to pin that. Come to think of it, I don't want any fresh nacho cheese. Wow. I don't 
think that would be interested in a business card. Wait a minute. Just suddenly thought of something. Just popped into my head. Um, this wouldn't work, but <laughs> you never know with this game. I don't think that would be interested in a business card. Eh, it was worth a try. Let's crack between doors. There's someone in there. Uh, oh, wait. It's locked tight. I can't, like, knock or anything? Last time I said there was no one in there. Wait a minute. Chimney. Mm, no. Hmm. Nah. What can I do with the chimney? Well, I can't use the measuring cup with that. bottle has a cork in it. I can't use the magnet with that. That doesn't need to be augured. That doesn't need to be augured. Still completely unsure. Of what to do with like that bottle with the cork in it and shit. I didn't even know what I would do if I got it open. <laughs> like really. <laughs> hmm. I tried using it in there. The bottle has a cork in it. The bottle has a cork in it. I think he'd like that. My pirate instincts tell me I should keep this to myself. <laughs> you just stole that mirror, didn't you? No, I didn't. It's right there. Look. Oh, my God. Hmm. I guess you're right. Oh, dear. I'm starting to look old. <laughs> From all that drinking. <laughs> Mind your own business. He's not too bright, is he? What do I need a mirror for, though? It's me. Nah. It's me. I can't use the mirror with that. I can't use the mirror with that. I honestly have no clue. The bottle has a cork in it. That fork is stuck in all that congealed cheese. There's no way to get that out. That doesn't need to be augured. That doesn't need to be augured. I can't use the mallet with that. I can't... I can't use the measuring cup with that. I can't use the measuring cup with that. Wait, that jar's for my tips. Put it back. But I was gonna put a whole lot of money in it. Too much for me to carry around with me. So I'm gonna have to take it with me and fill it up. Oh, okay then. How come I couldn't take that before? It's the lid to the tip jar from the hotel. It's empty. I don't want to pin that. Wait a minute, I have an idea for that kind of... Oh, wait, yeah, I put... There, I poked holes in it. I knew I was going to do that. Um, I haven't actually been back here in a while. Oh, I need fireflies. fly into the jar for no reason. Oh.
I feel like I'm kind of bumbling my way through this a little bit. I'm doing things before I need to know that I'm, I'm doing them, like, you know what I mean? <laughs> I can't use the jar with that. I can't use the jar. What could I put in there? What would attract fireflies? I can't paste that. I can't use the mirror with that. I don't think I have anything. It's just a matter of... Finding something to put in there. I can't use the jar with that. I can't use the jar with that. I can't use the jar with that. Mm -hmm. I can't use the jar with that. It's a hand-carved mask in the likeness of Leroy, god of pudding. Mm, no. Nah. So what would attract fireflies? Wait, where are they sitting there? Around a stump? No, that doesn't mean anything. Use the mirror with that. Mm. I don't want to close it yet. That doesn't look hungover at all. The bottle has a cork in it. I can't paste that. I can't use the mirror with that. Nah. They're too small and fast for me to catch with my hands. It could be something here to track them. Hmm. Yeah, I think I should stick to trying to trick this guy. I'm kind of getting sidetracked from it. So how am I supposed to learn about their history? I could just talk about good soup history all day. I am still not convinced. Every good soup is well read on our noble family history. If you knew anything about our family, I might believe you. Hmm. I'm off to explore the rustic charms of Blood Island. How can I learn their history? It could be somewhere in here, right? It's nailed to the wall. It's locked. I can't jimmy the door lock. Hmm. I can't jimmy the door lock with that. So is there something I could jimmy it open with? I don't want to pin that. I can't jimmy the door. Oh, wait a minute. What I tried before. I, I guess I'm better at this pirating thing than I thought. It worked. I knew that was going to be for something. It's so musty that I don't want to open it up. Quaint. I'm sure there's nothing in there except one of those hotel Bibles. It looks out over the cemetery. Creepy. It won't open. Ugh, it's an old-fashioned water carafe. More porcelain? When will this nightmare end? So he's gonna be dead in here, right? Oh, jeez. Wow. I'll bet his room charges are pretty hefty by now. I can't reach it. Oh. How do I stop that from... going back up? Have to put something that weighs a lot on it. 
I can't use the umbrella with that. I can't use the umbrella with that. Hmm. sure how I uh, keep the bed from doing that. <laughs> really don't have anything heavy. Not enough leverage. Not enough leverage? That doesn't need to be awkward. I need like a stick or something. Can't use the chisel. I don't want to cut that. <laughs> I don't want to cut that. Weird that when you use the chisel, it says not enough leverage. Not enough leverage. I can't use the chisel with that. I can't use the skeleton with that. I can't use the skeleton. Am I missing an item for this? Because I can't think of anything. I think there'd be some sort of like hint at this or something. I can't use the umbrella with that. I can't use the umbrella with that. It's a Murphy bed. Nah. There's something else I can like, click on here? I can't reach it. Even just clicking at all does that. I'm just gonna stop it from going up there. The magic wand has no effect on that. I think I need a different item or something. I'm trying to think of something that I've seen that would be able to work. Can I talk to her anymore? Just in case. I think she's still mad, right? Madam Zima, I... Be gone! My pirate instincts tell me I should keep this to myself. I haven't done anything with the nacho cheese here. I can't use the mirror with that. Hmm. I can't use the jar with that. I still don't know what I need some of these items for. Like, I know that book upstairs is gonna help me with, uh, getting into that crypt. I, I really don't even know why I need to be in the crypt when I think about it. Tried that. Yeah, I don't think he'd like that. 
I don't think he'd like that. Hmm. It's an auger. I don't think he'd like that. Leave that lotion. It be for the chafing hands of we shipwrights. I don't think he'd like that. There's nothing to interact with here except for the lotion and him. So how can I get this off him? It's a bottle of soothing hand lotion. The bottle has a cork in it. I don't think he'd like that. Hmm. Can't think of anything he'd want, so I don't know. I don't think he'd like that. I don't think he'd like yeah, I still don't know, like, what are these Visit for? Visit Big Whoop. Do it right now. But there's no maps or pictures. I don't think she'd like that. I don't think she'd... Mm. I don't think she'd like that. That fork is stuck in all that congealed cheese. Can I have some fresh nachos? You could, except that the nacho maker has been broken for years. I, guess I, I would have gotten this? rid of the darn thing long ago, but I can't budge it. The congealed nacho cheese is tougher than pitch. It seeped through the broken glass and glued the machine <laughs> to the bar. Thanks anyway. Hmm. Nothing I can do to get that out. I can't use the chisel with that. I can't use the. in this insurance policy but this is a life oh, insurance policy you collect when the policyholder dies i'm dead i really am do you have any proof that you're dead as a matter of fact smart guy no then it appears that you're just wasting my time photo is that the photo that came with the frame no, that's my wife. Man, I wish people would stop with that. Mm, no. The coffin lid desk is a nice touch. Nothing in here I can take. Healthy tea. It's a spicy, caffeine-free coffee alternative. Mm, no. The mainstay of every office environment. Mm, no. I can't use the measuring cup with that. I feel like I'm missing something big, because it feels like I have a bunch of assorted items and I have no idea what the hell they're for. Keep checking this thing because I feel like there's gonna be something, but I don't think there is. Oh, 
This entitles the bearer of this document to the sum of a lot of money. On the event of the demise of hearty beef and potato good soup. <laughs> Hey, Zabby, how's it going? I feel like I'm stuck here, but I don't think I'm stuck enough that I want to look anything up. I just... My brain's not working, I guess, right now. <laughs> That's good to hear. I'm gonna need, like, a way to keep this bed down. Also need a way to get fireflies in a jar, which I have no idea why I need. <laughs> I feel like I've definitely missed something that, uh, give me some direction. Yeah, everything I do, besides the chisel, not enough leverage. Everything would just say I can't use that, but this one says not enough leverage. So the idea is kind of sound, I guess. I wonder if I could. Can I take the book somehow, like without that? I can't reach it. No, it doesn't even try. I didn't even know what kind of item would hold this up. And I have a lot of shit here. Hmm. Well, I wouldn't know what to say. I can't reach it. Oh yeah, I can also learn about the history of these people so I can get that life insurance policy, but... There's nothing around that would teach me the history of them, as far as I could tell. Wait, do the ones behind say anything different or no? It's a bunch of old portraits nah. of the Van Salad family. I feel like I'm definitely missing something big. Plus the nacho cheese, which I spent a lot of effort to get melting, and I can't do anything. I'm not with gonna it. carry around that heavy iron pot for no reason. There's literally no way to get it out of that. <laughs> it's a copy of piracy, the Lechuk way. Beware. Beware of what? Well, for one thing... Hmm. If I wore a kilt, I wouldn't wear highly polished shoes. Ah, oh, by me great Aunt Fergus. You be right, laddie. I had best beware. <laughs> Are you sure you don't want to be pirates again? Sorry, lad. Oh, shoot. You mutineers at best beware. Beware of what? Well, for one thing... I'll put a terrible pirate curse on you. Could you be turning Bill into solid gold, like your girlfriend? Yeah, I guess that's Single not much Single favorite a game? No, lad. Not really. A bunch of favorites of different genres. I don't know if I have an exact one. 
You mutineers had best beware. Beware of what? Well, for one thing, the sea hates a deserter, and she'll swallow you up. No, lad. The sea hates phone solicitors that call at meal times. <laughs> It'll be the Alps what hates a deserter. Oh, shucks. I always get those two confused. You mutineers had best beware. Hey. That's it. <laughs> There's no way that I can have even a drop of lotion? Well, maybe we could make a oh, deal. Wait. You see, we need to be repairing the ship. She's leaky as a colander. And for some unknown reason, the ship supplies of tar have been depleted. <laughs> the previous crew could set sail without any tar aboard eludes me. But the fact is, unless we get us some tar or something like it, we're doomed to this island for good. Hey, I'd give you the whole blooming bottle of lotion if you could find me something to patch the ship so we I'm can just be on our thing. way home. What did you want in exchange for the lotion? We need to seal the hull of the ship. But we're out of tar. If you can find a substitute for tar, I'll let you have the lotion. I'll let you get back to work. So now can I pick that up? Because it says I'm not going to pick it up for no reason before. Well, we have a reason. I mean, melted cheese works the same as uh, tar, right? I'm surprised he didn't say that the first time I asked him about it. I guess I'll just drag this down to Haggis now. Here, Haggis. This stuff should work to patch up the ship. Aye, laddie, indeed it should. The consistency of tar, but with a tangy pepper taste. So, can I have your lotion now? Aye, lad. Go ahead and take it. So, this is going to help me get the first ring, right? That's what I would assume? How does this help Let's see me? See if this slippery, greasy lotion does the trick. That should do it. The cursed ring exploded. What? It's Elaine's finger, ready for a new ring. Ah, uh, so I guess that's just part of the main thing that we're trying to do. Then we need to get an uncursed ring now and give it to her. I still feel like I'm missing something, because some of these items, I just don't understand why we have them. Wait a minute. Something just clicked in my head. We need to get, uh, those fireflies for something, right? I just thought about it. We can get sugar water up here. Won't that attract fireflies? Or am I crazy? It attracts bugs of some sort. I know, in real life. It's full of sugar water now. So, can I put that in the... I can't use the measuring cup with that. Why not? Is that not right? I can't use the measuring cup with that. The sugar water would attract the fireflies, but there's no way I could catch them. That's what the empty jar is for. Putting an empty jar on that stump won't do anything. They won't fly into the jar. I can't use the measuring cup with that. Okay, is my brain just not working here? The sugar water would attract the fireflies, but there's no way I could catch uh, them. Ancient. The game came out in 97. I can't use the measuring cup with that. The sugar water would attract the fireflies, but there's no way I could catch them. Okay, what am I doing wrong here? We need sugar water. We need the jar. Can I, like, use this with something? I can't use the measuring cup with that. Pipe in? This pipe in won't do any good there. I can't use the jar with that. That doesn't need to be augured. The sugar water would attract the fireflies, but there's no way I could catch them. That's what the bottle's for. Putting an empty jar on that stump won't do anything. They won't fly into the jar for no reason. What am I missing here? How can I combine these without combining them? I can't use the measuring cup with that. I don't think the lid will fit that. It's empty. 
It's full of sugar water. I don't know where this water's been. I need to use the measuring cup with something else. Do I need like a funnel or something to put it in here? I can't use the measuring cup with that. Hmm. can't use the cushion with that. Hey, a stump. Mm, no. They're too small and fast for me to catch with my hands. Is there some other container I can get to put water in? It says made with 100% pure lamb blubber. Mm, soothing and nutritious. Hmm. That doesn't take wooden nickels. That doesn't take wooden nickels. So I don't know what I need this mirror for. It's me. I can't use the mirror. I can't use the mirror with that. Okay, it's time for brute force, I think. I can't use I can't use I can't 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 use the measuring cup with that. I think I am missing an item. I can't use I can't use I can't use I can't I can't I can't use I can't I can't I can't I can't use I can't I can't I can't use the measuring cup with that. So how can I get them to be attractive there if not just putting it on the stump? The sugar water would attract the fireflies, but there's no way I could catch them. Not that I know of. Should take a look around the island, I guess. Maybe something that just didn't jump out at me. Welcome back to Mutual of Stan. Hmm. I can't use the skeleton arm with that. Just curious. Still can't get in here as well. Right between the doors, the chimney. I don't know why I want to go in here, but... There's someone in there. I think I'd just be able to... I, uh, just got buried I alive never tried I was, that. I, I just realized. I should remind you that as a government employee, I cannot be held liable for accidental live burials. But why was I buried in that particular crypt? The only other crypt is the Good Soup Family Crypt. It's only for the Good Soup Family. They don't want just any commoner spending eternity with them. I was wondering, isn't there a nicer place to be buried on Blood Island? Well... There's the Good Soup Family Crypt. That's one mm -hmm. fine piece of post-mortem real estate. I'll tell you that for free. So that was a way of getting a hint of that, I guess? Isn't there a nicer place to be That's buried it? on Blood Island? Well, there's the Good Soup Family Crypt. It's locked tight. I guess there's no way in there, I then. I hope the owner of this shack doesn't sleep in that. Hmm. I can't use the mirror with that. <laughs> what, you can't use it like uh... I can't use the mirror with that. Mm -hmm. I wonder how I'm just aware about the good soup history. I could just talk about good soup history all day. I am still not convinced. Every good soup is well read on our noble family history. If you knew anything about our family, I might believe you. Hmm. How's business? Now that the volcano is erupting again, the reservations are just pouring in. Soon every room in the hotel will be filled. Except, of course, for that one room. Would you let me into that room? I already no. got in. <laughs> that room must remain locked and undisturbed forever. I'm off to explore the rustic charms of Blood Island.
got to be a way to keep that there. I can't reach it. Thought I could switch the books. <laughs> There's also the compass I could make that I'm not too sure about. The pin just sinks. I need to make it float. It's full of sugar water. I feel like I need another container is what's going on here. No. And I wonder if it's this that maybe I need to... It's a corked bottle of shaving soap. I need to get that cork out somehow. I haven't found a way to do that. Besides a corkscrew, I don't even know how you'd get a cork out. I don't out. think he'd like that. There is a fork here that I can't get. That fork is stuck in all that congealed cheese. I still can't have any nachos? The machine is broken, and that nacho cheese has glued it to the bar. Thanks anyway. Hmm, I don't know if you can actually get that, though. at the four hour mark so I'm gonna be stopping soon but I'd, I'd like to has there been a location I just haven't looked at this entire time boy it's windy up here I've been on this island for like a few hours and I didn't notice this it's broken I don't have anything to replace it with yes I do perfect this is where the lighthouse light would go if it had so with all these broken windows, it's no wonder the light blew out. Was the idea that I'm trying to fix this? That's what I need the firefly for? It concentrates the light into a beacon for wayward vessels. Makes a man proud. Luckily, I don't need to adjust it. There's a mirror now, but there's no light for it to reflect. Hey, hey, no. Oh, wait, yeah, you were already here. <laughs> Forgot with it. So now I know why I need the fireflies, but is there any, there's no like items here I can pick up? I was really hoping there would be. It doesn't look like it. Mm, no. Now I have to check if there's anything else around. I doubt it, but yeah, it looks like we got everywhere. How did I not notice there's the White House there? Maybe just knowing that changes something here. The sugar water would attract the fireflies, but there's no way I could catch them. Putting an empty jar on that stump won't do anything. I can't use the jar with that. I just don't understand, like, the way they're describing it. Why can't I just put the water from the measuring cup into the empty jar and wait? Wouldn't that catch them? Like, I don't understand. I don't think the lid will fit that. <laughs> I don't think the lid will fit that. I don't think the lid will... They won't fly into the jar for no reason. I can't use the measuring cup with that. The sugar water would attract the fireflies, but there's no way I could catch them. I don't want to lubricate that. I don't want to lubricate... Mm hmm. I still don't understand this part. It feels like I have what I need. Just I'm not doing something right. That doesn't need to be augured. Mm. I can't use the chisel with that. I can't use the map. <laughs> The magic wand has no effect on that. The magic wand has no effect on that. 
Just curious. I thought there'd be some sort of interaction. If only it were that easy. <laughs> hmm. Hey, a stump. Wait a minute, I just thought about something. Did I try to, uh... So just as lantern post. This is where the lighthouse light would go, if it had one. With all these broken windows, it's no wonder the light blew out. Oh, so there's actually not even a lantern there, right? There's no light. Just wanted to see what it would say. I can't use the measuring cup with that. Hmm. I'd like to solve at least one thing before ending for today, but I don't know if that's going to happen. I like a lantern I can pick up or something. <laughs> if only had a way to keep that down. Not enough leverage. And I can't use the machine with that. That you walk to there. That's kind of interesting. With uh, yeah, I don't know. I don't know where this water's been. I can't use the measuring cup with that. My mask of tofu won't do it. <laughs> trying to think of what items I haven't used yet. It's actually not that many. Like, what the hell are these tarot cards Fortune for? Fortune telling won't work with that. Fortune telling won't work with that. Yeah, as anticlimactic as it is, I think I should probably call it for tonight. About four hours in. I was hoping to get a little bit more done before the end here. I guess I'll think on it. <laughs> Last time I ended like without knowing what to do at the end, I kind of thought about it immediately as soon as I finished streaming. And it was really irritating. <laughs> yeah, the Monkey Island series is pretty damn great. There's quite a few of them too. We're on the third game right now. So, uh... There's going to be a change, though, uh, with my scheduling. I was gonna, I'm going to change it so that Monday, Wednesday, and Friday are going to be bigger games. So I'm going to be doing Yakuza tomorrow, but then on Tuesdays and Thursdays I'm going to do like shorter games like this one. That'll be like a fun new way of doing things. So I basically wanted to avoid what I did with uh, Assassin's Creed, where I was playing it for an entire month and nothing else. I don't want to avoid that going forward. Anyways, I am done for the night. So GG's, thanks for watching. Uh, I don't really want to raid at the moment. You guys are free. Bye bye's. See you guys tomorrow if you stop by. <laughs> GG's.